Good morning to everyone. Today we are needing tape measure, ruler, marking pen, pencil, eraser, and a color pen. We need a curve. Now we will discuss the second part of color. Now, in our uh, part two of the color, we will discuss uh, a sailor color. We start this. We will trace again. This is center back. Our measurement is uh, four and a half. So this one, center front shoulder, center back shoulder. So the sailor color is uh, a color which is square in the back. So what we can do from the center back to down, let's try eight inches or in centimeter, this is around uh, 20 centimeter. Let us square this one. All right. Let's use black marker. The orange marker is our, our base. This is the uh, back neck. Then uh, we will go down here by 8 inches. It's up to you. As I said, you can make uh, 6 inches as you wish. It's depend on the, maybe the body. So we can do the proportion. Let's just square that one. Make sure that it's 90 degree. This is center back on fold because we will make opening in the front. Right? So we will extend by half inch. From here to here, let's get the measurement of 6. Let's connect this. Smooth and nice angle here. Okay. Let's. And then from here, let's connect this one. But we need to make sure that this is square. And then from here, That's it. This is the sailor color. Very simple as that. Okay. The important of the color is this area. Do not forget. I hope to discuss now grown on color. So we put first um, a mark of the other back. This is the shoulder. This is the armhole. This is the, the dark. Anyway, the important this is uh, the construction of the color. Okay, so this is the waistline. Now we are needing a one inch uh, overlapping. So from here to here, we check again six. So from this six, let's make first a line for the one inch overlap. Okay, then we need to extend this one. So this is for easy to understand. Point O, this one is point one. Point O, let's connect to point one. Three point four inches. This is point two. Point O, connect to point one. Connect to point two. Put a straight line from this to here, and then from point we will go down by 3 8 connect this one so we will have a curve angle look from point 2 to 3 this is one centimeter or 3 8 inches and then here we will create approximate nine centimeter or three and a half inches so this is point four and now, this point 4, we need to connect to point 0. Let's square this. Like that. And by using a curve, we can make this. Like that. Look. Now, this one become here. And then this one is here. Hmm. So this is now our grown on color. So, okay, we need to make sure that this is 90 degree. And now we will do the pacing. One and a half here. And then we will connect that going here. Using the curve, we can do like this. This piece is our pacing. So our pacing will become 
this one this one further then connect here So the pacing is not let's remove the the base. This is now the front pacing. And then we will put need to put the straight green. This is the center front. Okay, parallel to that, we need to put, this is the straight grain. The pacing should be one eighth wider than the under color. So this is much wider by one eighth. When you cut, it become like this up to here there so the piecing so the edge of the top collar this one is the under this is become top imagine if we put this together, this will go under because this is the pacing and then it will go like that. See? So this is the top edge of the collar. So this is much wider. So this is the construction of grown uh, on collar. We have another one. This is the stand collar okay this is center back let's make the half of the measurement eight and one fourth right so this is the center front Hi height of the collar is one and three fourth so one and three fourth and one and three fourth this is the height of the collar. Okay, we divide into four. Let's make like this. Let's make like this. Here, let's connect and have a round shape. See, this one is nice angle. Yep. All right. It's very easy, but I hope you can follow. You slash this one and reduce this measurement by two centimeter. Let's try. So that means if the measurement of this neckline is eight and one fourth, so when we slash this one, the finishing should be seven and a half. So let's make this one. Let's measure. So after we slash this one, this is eight and one fourth. We reduce this one into seven and a half. So this is now our stand collar. Okay. I hope you learned something today. Thank you very much.